Okay, so today's pepper review is going to be on this pepper right here, and I believe it's pronounced the Paradixum Malacu Sarchis Sensis Pepper. I put the correct name in the description. I just call it a yellow pumpkin, but that is the correct name. You'll see that in there. Not quite sure how to pronounce all of that stuff, but that's it right there. And we got one that's ready to go. We got a couple here this year. We got some nice ones on there. And I need to get this yellow one off so these can get nice and fat and yellow before the end of the year. So by getting your ripe ones off, now the plant can put its energy into focusing on getting these a lot bigger and a lot more yellow. So let's pop this off. Okay, so there it is. That's it right there. That is the Paradixum Malacu Sargi Sientes Pepper, whatever it's called. And uh, that's it. Now this pepper has been getting quite popular lately. I'm not sure why. But a lot of people have been buying the seed from me. Off, off my website. And uh, it's getting popular. So I figured I'd revisit this pepper. And do a new video on it as a pod review for it. And just give you some better angles, better lighting so you can see it. Because I can't see what you can see on the video. Because my camera sucks. Don't buy a Sony, guys. You buy Canon if you want to make good videos. Don't buy Sony. Because that my next camera is not going to be a Sony, guys. Here's the bottom of it. So you can see it. Isn't that nice? Isn't that a gorgeous looking pepper, guys? A little pumpkin pepper. Now, from what I remember, it's a sweet pepper, so we'll just have to taste test it and see if it's sweet. All right, so that's it. Let's turn you around and give it a go. All right, guys, here we are. We are doing another pod review today, and we are doing it on this thing right here. And this is called the Paradixa Malacu Sientes. Ooh, you see the bee? See, see the bee's going for the yellow. Uh, Siente something, whatever it is. Um, it'll be in the description. The writing on my tag came off, so I can't remember offhand what it says, but it was something like that. So that's it. Look at that beautiful pepper you got right there. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. That is just a fabulous looking pepper. A lot of interest has been coming to my website for this pepper. A lot of people searching for it and purchasing seed as well. And they're Finding a fascination with it for some reason. I'm not sure why. But it is quite interesting. It is a type of... I'm trying to think of the name. A rotund type pepper. But it's yellow. Which is unusual. And it's just really fascinating looking pepper. This is, And these peppers will actually sit out on your counter for a little while. Very thick walled. Very strong. Very hard. Uh, take a long time to ripen. But... In the end, it's definitely worth it. I would recommend if you do plan on getting any kind of sizable crop off it, number one, grow it outdoors in full sunlight. It has to be grown in full sunlight, not like I'm doing in the greenhouse. I don't need more than like a half dozen of each variety of pepper for me to acquire seeds and offer them to you. So generally, that's why I don't grow, you know, plants to get really huge. But when I do need a larger seed stock, I will tend to see that. See the bees coming around for the yellow? That's it. Let's uh, give it a bite. See what it tastes like. Guys, this pepper is absolutely delicious in every way of the word. I can see why it's really gaining popularity. First of all, it's a sweet pepper, so there's no heat on it. The flavor is kind of different than your typical red bell pepper flavor, for example. It has a sweetness to it. It's a nice sweet type pepper. Now, this is fully ripe. Now, you can't eat these in their green stage, and they're not going to be as sweet. But this does have a type of sweetness, and there is, like, its own type of peppery flavor. It does taste like pepper. It has that peppery flavor, but there's, like, overtones and undertones with it that make it just give it a different type of, of effect on your palate, your taste buds. And it's very delicious. It's very, very delicious. It's something I would say you can apply to pretty much all your cooking. And you can really use it in any way you want. Now, these peppers can get a little bigger than this. They can maybe be uh, not twice the size, not even one and a half times the size, but like a quarter size larger than what you see here. They can get a little bigger and a little fatter. The wall thickness on them can really thicken up quite a bit on them. So I've had these peppers get 
pretty thick and large actually and they're great when they are like that but this particular pepper here is really sweet this year and very delicious let me take another bite almost tastes like watermelon a little bit it's not a dry pepper it's very moist it's a very mellow type of flavor too it's not very strong where it's like leaving this really strong aftertaste in your mouth it's very mellow it has a nice peppery flavor it has a nice sweetness to it it's not overwhelming in any one direction, sweet, tangy, and it's just nice and balanced, and it's really quite a delicious pepper. I could eat these things all day, have no problem. I can just, if I had enough of them growing, I'd just come out here and eat these all day. Forget making dinner, or why waste your time doing that when you can eat something like this all day long? I have no problem doing that. It's not too hot, it's not upsetting your stomach, it's just munch them down and enjoy them. They're actually that good. Anyway, I don't know what else to say about the pepper. It's, again, not hot, there's no heat on it, and it's really, you know, it's not as productive of a plant as I would like it to be, but it, like I say, if you grow them by themselves out in your garden in full sunlight with, away from other plants, this plant can put out easily a dozen or more peppers. It just needs to be by itself, it needs its own attention, and it, you can't, grow it near other plants if you want larger production. You don't have to worry about topping the plant, but you might want to because sometimes this plant will shoot out a couple of legs that get really long, like three, four feet long, and it kind of, it, 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 I'm not going to say stunts the other uh, stems on a plant, but they don't really, they're not as is productive should I say so when you see a long sucker stem come out of the middle you might want to top that where you want it and then allow the other lower stems to come up and kind of meet that in the middle so it's more like an evenly based bush rather than one stem in the middle and a whole bunch of lower stems on the bottom this plant tends to want to do that so you're going to want to control that that way other than that this plant is either easy to grow and the peppers you're going to get off of this thing is absolutely delicious you cannot go wrong with this beautiful yellow delicious pepper all right so that was your pod review for the paradigm alaku sientes sientes sarga sientes i think it's called don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care